So the exercise we're going to do with the mouse interaction. For this one, we would like to combine that the the techniques you have done in the last one. This the one by using the mouse to wipe across the screen to mix two images together, and also the color bar exercise we have done a few weeks ago. So first of all, let's clean up the desktop first. And then we can create a new project folder. With the name mouse 003. And we would like to make use of one movie for our demonstration. So we create a movies folder. Okay, and then the next step we would like to find, for example, one video that we have used before and copy it to the movie folder. And then we drag it onto the project view of our Touch Designer project. And the effect we are going to create first is the color bar that we have done before. So if you remember, so we make use of a crop to crop the original image into one thin horizontal line where we set the crop bottom and top to the middle of the screen that is 0.5. And then we send it to a resolution top to change the resolution back to the normal one we use. That is 1280 by 720. And we need to change the output aspect ratio to that of the resolution. So now we have two different images, but they all come from the same movie. So what we would like to do is using the corner pin that we have done in the last exercise to combine the two of them. So we switch to the selection and pick up corner pin. And we need two of them one from the original movie, the other from the color bar. So for each of the corner pins, so we can, for example, make a decision to use which one to be the one on the top and which one to be the one on the bottom. So I choose the original movie to be the upper half for the screen and the color bar to be the bottom half. So in this case, for the original movie, we change the bottom margin to be half of the screen, like this. In the extract, as well as in the pin, that is the bottom. Okay, so we now have half the, of the screen with the original movie. And then we're going to do it with the same idea for the color bar image. So for this one, we change the top margin. Okay, and also the extract. Okay, and then 
we try to combine them with what we have learned before using a composite top. We two of them send together and then send the result to the out. And for the composite, we use the add, which add two of them together. And again, we go to the perform window that is outside of your project one to change the opening size to fill the whole screen and remove the border. We save it, go out here, and then have a look for the full screen view by clicking the perform mode button. So this is the one we have achieved so far. At the mouse interaction. And to play with the mouse, to we choose from the chop that we use mouse in. And because we are cutting the screen in the middle vertically, so we're going to use TY instead of TX in the interaction. And the values of TY actually will not span from negative 1 to positive 1 by default because it's kind of normalized using the aspect ratio of the screen. And in this case, we need to choose the normalize in order to make full use of the range of the value. And again, we also need to use the math to convert the range from minus 1 to positive 1 to the range that we target to use, that is 0 to 1. And as a good practice, as I mentioned, that we're going to use a null chop in order to copy it to various location of the other boxes. Okay, so first we turn on the real additives such that we can drag the value of ty to somewhere else. The location we need to drag the ty2 is actually the cropped that we have made change on the crop bottom and crop top and also the corner pin number one that is the bottom margin and corner pin number two that's the top margin so we start with the first one cropped first first we drag the ty to crop bottom release and choose export chop and then for the crop top so now we are cropping the different location vertically of the original image now we're going to change the corner pin number one that is the bottom margin both in the extract and also in pin by using the same values of ty. So we drag this over there. And this over here, export chop. So two of them. And then with the same way for the pin. Okay, so the first image we can use the mouse to control actually the height and we proceed to the last one we're going to work with that is the corner pin number two drag here export drag here again export and for the pin as well Okay, so now we complete and then we can turn off this we were active. And for preview, we can actually turn on the display button. Then you can try to move around the mouse to have a look. And when this is done, 
you can move to the perform mode and by using your mouse you can actually create this color bar effect in any vertical location of the screen so here it is